It's been over a year since we visited Nish in Starfield. After over a year of waiting, they finally released their first DLC. And of course, I'm going to be as evil as possible with Nish here. Oh, hey, Sarah. Are you still angry with me? If you have something to say, get it over with. I sense your passive aggressiveness, Sarah, but I really don't remember what I did wrong. I found a star station called the Oracle emitting a warning signal telling people to stay away. If I want to find out what transpired there, I have no choice but to board. I'm boarding, even though I was told not to. I, uh, Nish can't read, so neither can I, really. Hey, Sarah, I know you're probably really confused. Can you stop pointing that at me? I know you're upset. Take your time. I'm in no rush to talk again. All right, Jesus Christ, Sarah. You know you can leave. Actually, she can't. She's part of the tutorial mission I never completed over a year ago. A lot of my footage lagged during this portion because of all the particle effects and shit going on, so I'm going to briefly explain what happens here. Experiments go wrong and they turn into ghosts. Evil ghosts. And we have to go to the House of Varun's home planet to figure it out. That's basically what we figure out here in like 30 minutes of gameplay. Y yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. What are we looking for down here? Oh, we just dropped into, I think, showers? Okay, that's a little pervy that they have a hatch right above the showers. Might be Diddy's spaceship or space station. Station jump procedure initiated. Please check your surroundings. Station Short jump, what? Safety. Where the hell are we going? No, 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 no. Where the hell are we going? This is actually kind of a pretty planet. I'm not going to lie. It's giving me uh, Outer Worlds vibes. Hold very still. Let's all just take a moment. I assure you, we mean you no harm. Now, hold on there for a second, Sarah. And perhaps our guest's intent should be determined before we take further action. Um, see, I'm just a space pirate, and I like to steal things. Great serpent, it's happening again. Hear me? Speaker, we are here! Oh, you guys see the ghosts too? So it wasn't me tripping this whole time? Yeah, so all these ghosts really turn evil, so I'll handle this one for you. Oh, what the hell? Why can't I shoot this one? That's crap. I think we're joining a cult here. I don't know about these guys. Our leader, Anasco Varun, he has appeared like this over and over. What? That's your leader? How does that- What? He sounds plenty lost himself. You could hear him. Not about this. If you speak truth, you must prove it. What did he say? I wasn't really paying attention. This is too important. You must remember something. Did someone just pull a gun? Something about a gate and a citadel seeking the Great Serpent. Are you quite sure? I was right here and I didn't hear a- Shut up, Sarah. You did hear an Asko. You have been chosen. I have a sub-80 IQ. I can barely read. How am I chosen? By the way, I gotta say, I'm loving the Helldivers uniforms these uh, Dazra security members are wearing. I only agree to join them because I am curious what this DLC entails. I don't want to be a huge dickhead yet. Oh, okay. Can I sleep here? Yeah, we're in the middle of a conversation. I'm gonna take a nap. Need something. What? Were you, were you standing there the whole time, freak? Can I use the toilet? No. Actually, it doesn't look like there's any plumbing at all. They just sort of shit on the floor. You know what? I think I actually do kind of belong here. Anywhere to shit that isn't my pants is always a step up. And here you are leading some outsider through our sacred space? Yeah, see, you haven't heard I'm the chosen one. You know what, dickhead? This is Inaza Kaisia, Herald of the Serpent. Herald of the Serpent. Oh, so you just got a strange little tingle down your spine that the Chosen One was here? Open the damn door. Let's go. Yeah, I'm ready to walk the Great Serpent's path. I know that you're really, really fond of me, Sarah, but we'll have to speak later. I'm sorry. All right, there's a bunch of human remains here on the Great Serpent's path. Something diddly is going on here. I'm just gonna defile all these graves and random crap that's around here. All right, cast aside your burdens. Oh, yeah, I... I Am I gonna light myself on fire? Hold on, let me quick save. Oh, I have to sacrifice something? I was- Uh, can we sacrifice this vase real quick? Okay, it worked! Alright, I'm making this serpent god thing very happy right now. Or angry, I'm not sure. Your suit's protections is depleted. You are taking environmental damage. Yeah, I can't read, sorry. Can I get out of here now, please? I'm dying! I'm dying! I'm dying! Make now a sacrifice to prove your devotion. Oh, can I, uh, sacrifice Sarah? Is that allowed? Ritual chamber! I- uh, what? 
Am I about to get like a sacrificial circumcision or something? Okay, so I have to choose two of these vases and it'll give me powers, I think? Except for I don't know what any of this means. So I'll take strength, perseverance. So now I should be like stronger, right? I don't know what that did. Oh, hey, Sarah. <laughs> Welcome to the Great Serpent's Cave. I was just fiddled and drugged. Do you feel born anew? I feel the same as I did before, honestly. I grant you the title of... Vindicator. All right, I walk through a tunnel, drugged out of my mind, and now I'm a Vindicator. I don't know if that title actually means anything. The High Council awaits your arrival. The High Council awaits my arrival. I could just be like some random illiterate crackhead. Actually, I am a random illiterate crackhead saying I hear voices from some ghost <laughs> and they believe me. I'm really glad Sarah is forced to be with me and she still hates my guts. I think that's the best part. Hey everyone, I'm here to meet the High Council. Funding notice. Oh, he guys didn't pay your taxes? Idiots. Couldn't be me. Imagine paying taxes. Oh, to save you guys another 20 minute conversation in this quote unquote high council meeting, in a very cliche way, there are three different houses of the House of Varun. Some of them agree with me helping to open up this citadel and figure out what the hell is going on with the Great Serpent and all that. Others don't. So I have to make friends with everyone to get this passcode to open up the citadel doors to figure out what the hell is going on. Apparently their leader was doing some sort of experimenting with uh, this gravitational device thingy and it went horribly wrong that's why these blue people are turning into ghosts and they're really violent and i shoot them on sight at least i think they're violent stop the argument in jujin square i know exactly how to end this argument sarah step out of the way all right um you this is murder you're on your own break it up no one wants to hear this invite a total stranger into our family squabbles yeah, I might be able to settle it. That's not a bad idea. What I cannot abide, however, is you attempting to sell Mother's urn with her remains still within. What? That is horrible. That is cool. T times are tough, I, I guess. You know what? This uh, Amelia guy, I think we can see eye to eye. I challenge you to a duel. Uh, they're challenging each other to a duel? Hell yeah. What good would this do? There has to be another way. I could kill you both. So I believe this is a side mission, but I really want to get involved with uh, this criminal right here, stealing and selling his mother's urn. I pray that we will be able to work towards a peaceful resolution before it's too late. Yeah, not happening. Thanks for your input, though. Hold on, what does a second do again? I I'm curious what my role is for the duel. In short, we are to guarantee that the duel proceeds without issue. Your primary duty as Amila's second is to work with the brothers and see if a peaceful conclusion is possible. No, no, not happening. No, no. Yep, we're totally sabotaging Borhal. That's his name. All right, so I have to talk to the brothers and make them make up, but I think I'm just going to pull the strings and gaslight everyone instead. That sounds way more fun. I want to see some bloodshed. What's up, Amelia? So, uh... The weapon of choice your brother chose for the duel are blades. How do you feel about that? The duel shall go forward as planned. I agree, yeah. All right, time to talk to the other brother to let him know that the duel will be going forward and that he should pack an extra diaper. Oh, Borhal, you ready to die, dumbass? I want to find if there's any other way I can sabotage Borhal here. I kind of like his brother. He's quite the sociopath. What is it? Where did that random light come from? What? He needs to be dealt with. Yeah, yeah, totally. I agree with you. Absolutely. Your final duty as a second is to prepare the ceremonial drinks that the duelist will imbibe prior to the duel. As you are preparing the drinks, you will treat each cup with this tranquilizer. You want me to drug both of them? Nah, that's fucked up. <laughs> no, absolutely not. I don't you care, don't wonder. care, skip, so sure? don't care, I skip, know. don't care, don't care, leave it to me, I'll take care of everything from here, May shut your mouth. Mate. May the great serpent roofie us, tranquilize both, tranquilize nobody, tranquilize Borhal. All right, Danica, the drinks have been roofied. Good, I don't feel like talking to you anymore either. Okay, bitch, Jesus. Attitude, my god. So why have we pirated a few people and murdered them in the process? I don't really see how that's a big deal. Okay. Wait. What is this? What have you done to me? Nothing. Kill him, Amelia. Do it! Damn! Oh my. Wow, he's still actually kicking his- oh My god! Sarah, get out of the way! Jesus! 
Why does oh. it give me the option to talk to him? Oh, now he's dead. See if they've got any weapons or ammo. Sarah, we... Okay, Jesus Christ. I just killed my brother. People are going to judge. This duel was a mistake. A pointless tragedy. Glad I could be of help. Sarah, see, this wasn't so bad. You enjoying our time on this little field trip on a different planet? All right, on to the next main mission. I got a little distracted there, not gonna lie. Hey there. So I wasn't really paying attention because the game was lagging a lot. Uh, we have to assist each of the houses, probably get to learn more about their faction and that sort of thing and decide who will inevitably get the power or whatever. I have no idea. Just get away from me. Okay, Next whatever. Time, so why don't you bother someone else? Okay, fine. <laughs> Dumbass. It's happened. Please help me. I... I am terrified. Oh, whatever. You're terrifying too. You're bald. Freak. <laughs> Is this not the opportunity you've been looking for, brother? A third party capable of finding Varric. Varric. Okay, sure. I'll find this Varric guy. Can we stop talking, please? I need to shoot or stab something immediately. Are you well practiced in discretion? Uh, I don't even know what discretion is. So the council would send an untrustworthy fool to secure my cooperation. D yeah. As Vittoria mentioned, my son, Varric, he is a traitor and must be dealt with as such. Okay, sure, I'll kill him. If the High Council wants my cooperation, I need you to find Varric and carry out his sentence. Roger that, General. Nope, not sparing him, not acting under impulse. I've thought about it enough. Shut your mouth. I'm gonna go kill your son, if you don't mind. I will say, uh, this DLC so far is pretty confusing, but I love the amount of evil choices you have this early on into the DLC, whereas I feel like the base game, you virtually got none, except for the space pirate quest line, which you could have done the good way, even if you were being bad. I'm really glad they're giving us a little bit more choice I, I think after asking around the bar area about Varric his friends mentioned that he is trying to get off world I know I was gonna kill him regardless but uh this deserter definitely needs to pay the price this guy named Tane is trying to get him off world so I'm gonna find him real quick I gotta like wait here or something I'm pretty sure he's heading into the highlands just not sure where but I do have the means to track him are you going to attack me I have a knife not afraid of- HOLY SH- GET AWAY! Goddamn freak! Get out of the way, Sarah, I got this. They're not he human, just stab them and shoot them. Don't ask questions. These guys have loads of ammo, too, for some ghosts? Why do you guys have so much ammo? It took a really long time to track down Varric, so I'm just gonna save you guys a bunch of time, and he got to some abandoned, like, ranch place where he was trying to start his life anew as a farmer, which I, of course, will- Well, I'll let you guys just see it for yourselves. Yes, finally a computer. Oh my god, yes, he was last signed in. What an idiot, he forgot to sign out. Oh, hey, Varric. What's going on? Finally, I've been looking all over for you. I'm here to carry out your sentence as a traitor. Whoa, whoa. I mean, first of all, are you sure Victor even wants him dead? Yeah, he told me like seven times, dumbass. I know what I'm doing. I have orders. I intend to follow them. Attack Varric and Tane. Bad. Oh, no. He just shot Tane in the back of the head. Yes, I love that Sarah just kills him with me without hesitation. Thank you so much, Sarah. God, you're the best. Oh, Victor, I have good news. Your son and the guy who got him hidden away is dead. Varric answers to the Great Serpent now. What have you done, Varric? I killed him. This blood is on your hands, Victor. Actually, the blood is on my hands, yeah. I have not <laughs> overlooked your involvement in this. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are new, consider subscribing. In the meantime, check out this video right here, and I'll see you guys next one. Peace.